Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds from the beautiful great blue lobelia. So let's go. It is the end of October and can you believe that this lobelia is still blooming and looking this pretty? Most of the lobelia in my yard has gone by, but I did find this one and I wanted to show you just how pretty it is. It's almost Halloween and usually we have a lot of orange, a lot of purple. Those are the colors you usually see around Halloween time. So how perfect is it that this is still blooming? Let me bring you over to an area where I have more lobelia, where it's gone to seed. So I can show you what the seed pod looks like as well as the seeds. What you're looking for on the stalk of the great blue lobelia are all the little seed pods that have formed. You want to wait until the seed pods have turned brown. If they're still a green or even a cream color, do not pick them yet. That means they're not ready. These seed pods are ready and I'm going to pull it off to show you what it looks like. You can see that the seed pods are definitely brown. What we're going to do next is I'm going to take you in for a closer look so you can look at the seed pods as well as how we release the seeds from them. As I was collecting these seeds, it occurred to me, this is the third video that I'm making on how to collect the seeds from a lobelia plant. I wanted to explain that. One of the videos that I made, if you've already seen it, was collecting the seeds from a blue lobelia, but it was an annual blue lobelia. It's considered a trailing variety. It's very short, very compact. You typically would find it in a container or towards the front of a flower bed. And that lobelia comes in either a blue color or a white color. Sometimes you can even find it in a purple color. And specifically in my zone here, zone 5B, it's considered an annual. I also made another video on collecting the seeds from a cardinal flower, which is also a type of lobelia. It's a very, very beautiful red plant, and it's considered a native perennial here in my zone. And it's a medium height plant. It's something that you would put towards the center of a flower bed. The hummingbirds absolutely love that plant. And then this video is about the great blue lobelia, which is also considered a perennial here in my zone. And typically you would put it in the center or the back of a flower bed because it does get quite tall. All right, let's go ahead and look at the seeds now so you can see what to look for when collecting the seeds from this type of plant. Even though the stalk of the plant is green, you can clearly see that the seed pods are definitely a brown color. In order to release the seeds from the seed pod, you really just need to shake this or tap it like this. And just by doing that, hundreds of seeds are being released. The seeds are a brown color, and when it comes to storing the seeds, I like to store my seeds in the small Ziploc bag. You can also store your seeds in a paper bag or in some sort of a container or a jar. The key is to make sure that the seeds are completely dry before storing them. I've labeled my bag with the type of plant it is, so it's a lobelia. It's the grape blue variety, and I collected these seeds in 2023. And you can see I have a dime here, and that just shows in reference to how big the dime is next to the bag, as well as the teeny tiny seeds and as well as the seed pods. I have the paper folded in half, and the reason is I like to funnel, and the reason is I like to use the paper as a funnel, and I like to funnel the seeds off of the paper into the Ziploc bag. It makes it much easier to get the seeds into that bag. This winter, I plan on winter sowing all my perennial seeds outdoors. I don't like to start the seeds of any of my perennials indoors under my grow lights because I like to reserve that strictly for all the annuals that I'll be growing. So when it comes to the great blue lobelia, since it is a perennial, I will be winter sowing it outdoors and I'll show you in a video this winter how I go about doing that. I hope you've been enjoying all these videos on collecting seeds from different annuals and perennials. Until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.